throughout this month and during this newscast, we have been sharing stories about the remarkable women of Southern Nevada. And these four ladies were highlighted out of hundreds of nominees that you sent to us. And one of them will be chosen to participate in the Next Star Woman of the Year show. So I'm so excited to announce that out of all the incredible stories that we've heard, the women we featured, the women we couldn't feature, the remarkable woman, just one from Las Vegas, is sitting right next to me, and that is Trudy Para Kilman. Congratulations! Congratulations! We tried so hard to keep this as a surprise. I can tell you're surprised. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Congratulations, Trudy. You deserve it. You're a remarkable woman, and we are so excited to honor you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you so much. I will give you a second to take a breath. These gorgeous flowers are not just for decoration; these are for you. I want you to take them home and enjoy them. Just a little something for you. These gorgeous flowers. But beyond that, we've got more. There's always more. Um, right now, we would like to introduce our general manager. Um, actually, before that, don't forget, you're going to be in a nationwide virtual event uh, recognizing women from cities all across, the hundred, all across the country, more than 100 cities. So, Trudy, we want to celebrate you, all that you've done, because you help fight homelessness here in Southern Nevada. So now I would like to bring in our general manager, Lisa Howfield. She has a special gift for you, Lisa. <laughs> Congratulations, Trudy, on being named our remarkable woman for Las Vegas. We know you spend a lot of time trying to raise money for your charity, and we think this should help out with your cause. On behalf of KLAS TV8 and Next Star Media Group, we are presenting your charity with a check for $1,000. Thank you so much for the amazing work you're doing in our community. Denise, I'm going to send it back to you because I understand we have some other special messages. We do $1,000. That's amazing. So excited, Lisa! Thank you, um, Trudy. Uh, we are so excited to honor you. A thousand dollars, and we've got some special messages. Uh, we're going to start off first with CBS This Morning's Gail King, who has this word for you. Trudy, 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 talking to you. Congratulations on being Las Vegas' remarkable woman. What a story you have! You were nearly homeless. You had to pick yourself up and start the Compassion Initiative LV. What does that do? Helping people in need shows such resilience. So while on COVID lockdown, you and your team served meals out of the back of your Hope van. You then provided survival gear for people sleeping outside. You then made computer bundles for families homeschooling. You then purchased bus passes for those who wanted to return to their families. When you add all that up, sounds like remarkable to me, and that's why we salute you today. You are truly remarkable, Trudy. Congratulations again, and good luck as you now compete for Next Star's Woman of the Year. Okay, now I'm crying. Here, here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gail King. All right, we have another message for you from Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Oh my gosh, my hero. <laughs> Hi, I'm Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, and I want to thank Trudy Parra Kilman for the amazing work she has done in Las Vegas to help others, from providing needing families with clothing and toiletries to making meals for thousands to distributing holiday gifts. Trudy has made it her mission to bring light into others' lives. I am so proud to see one of our hometown heroes being recognized, and the real winners are so many people across Las Vegas whom Trudy has helped. Thank you, Trudy, for everything that you do, and congratulations. No, oh, and you know, said she, you said that she's one of your heroes. She is one of my heroes. As a matter of fact, her office is helping me right now navigate another situation uh, with Social Security uh, for my youngest son, Kendall. So uh, she, she has been a go-to for me since we moved back to Vegas in 2013. We've got another go-to lady in our community who wants to congratulate you, and that is Congresswoman Dina Titus. Ms. Kilman, I was so touched to hear your story, and I want to extend my most heartfelt appreciation and congratulations. As you know better than most, this past year has been an incredibly difficult one for so many in our community. And in this time of overwhelming need, you have risen to the occasion and made your impact felt more strongly than ever before. Even more impressively, you have managed to do it all without many resources or much fanfare. 
I am moved by your compassion and your generosity, and I am inspired by your work ethic and your tenacity. Trudy, you are the definition of a remarkable woman. And we agree. <laughs> so we heard both of those ladies, all three ladies, talk about what you do. Um, tell our viewers at home a little bit about the Compassion Initiative, LV, and, and why you started it, because you didn't really set out to do something like that. No, I, I truly believe in life that you, um, you have a journey and you're predestined for that journey. So I moved back here in 2013 with my two boys and uh, some circumstances led us to um, in a situation where we needed housing like very quickly. My social security had not been in place and we were just receiving my husband's death benefits, which is not enough to survive in Vegas. And so I reached out for the first time in my life for services and I was, uh, my jaw hit the floor when I was told that it was going to take us three years to get housing and I uh, asked them, so what do I do in the meantime? And they honestly did not have an answer for me. So uh, the boys and I had a discussion um, and we decided that once we were financially stable and I was not facing homelessness myself, that we were going to get involved and start giving back. And that's what we did. So six years ago, I got involved with working with street dogs and one thing led to another and we parted ways amicably and I started on my own journey. And I have been forever grateful for the last six years. Um, those people have rescued me as much as I have rescued them. Um, our, our family has a lot of medical issues and with the death of my husband 12 years ago, um, it's very challenging and uh, this has given me an opportunity to step outside of my space and um, give me a purpose um, because I at one point did not have one. I felt very defeated and um, <laughs> I'm just I'm so grateful and honored. And thank you. Well, we are grateful and, and honored to be able to do this and, and recognize you as the remarkable woman here in Las Vegas out of hundreds of nominees. And uh, just as we can hear from the women's testimony uh, earlier, you deserve it. Enjoy your moment. Thank you. Yes, thank and that so thousand much. dollar check is going to go a long absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so thank much, you. Trudy. You have done all of that while at the same time raising your family as a single mother. Uh, your family is here, by the way. Um, I'm sure that they're definitely proud of you, hopefully equally as surprised as you were today. So thank you. thanks again for all of your family to be here. We had the chance to feature really a handful of wonderful, remarkable women. So thank you so much. We posted all four of their stories on 8 Now dot com.